I feel like you have a lot of analysis, but like you don't really, it's not like connecting, you don't really know what it's like going towards. I would actually just cut this entire section right here. Do you feel that I should probably address the issue of purpose in my actual thesis statement? When we think about peer review, it's useful actually to have a sense of how central it is. There's kind of peer review that happens in the classroom where peers, students, other people just like you are looking at your work and you're looking at theirs. Now on a professional level, that person might be a peer. It might be somebody you've never met. You might be the preeminent scholar in your field and your peer might be somebody quite junior. Peer itself, just that term, is very open-ended. It's basically anybody else engaged in the same project you're engaged in, trying to understand these basic questions of the discipline. There's always a need to have somebody else tell you where you're going off course. Nobody writes alone. Nobody finishes work alone. Peer review is really the feedback mechanism about the quality of our ideas and how well we communicate them. And that's really how academic work moves forward. The response to one's work in whatever form it takes is always crucial. So you want to know simply if people like your work. But you also really want to get you know, a qualitative understanding of whether or not your work is doing what you intended to do and whether it's satisfying some requirement of your audience. I wasn't taught how to do peer review. It can be a very mysterious process and certainly a scary one, uh, which is why we need to talk more about um, how it's done and what it involves. It's very hard to understand the process until you've done both sides, until you've actually done the reviewing and to, and as well as received the reviewing. I've talked to all of you, I think, in conference now on this paper, so you've gotten my feedback. And today's peer review is for you to share feedback with each other. The students in my class working on each other's drafts, what they were doing was really helping the writers produce these ideas to their best possible level. I just thought you could probably combine the first two paragraphs. Like I know what you're trying to get at, but I feel like you took too much, like too long to explain it. If you're a student beginning the process of peer review and you're uncertain about what you might say to somebody, I think one thing to remember is that what you're really doing is providing the experience of a reader. If you keep that in mind, you can't really go wrong. I really like this. It was personal, but it wasn't too personal that it would, it would feel like you were talking about yourself. I tell students that they get to say, I liked it only once per class. They have to understand that there are collaborators here and that you know it's important to notice what's good in the work, but you have to be focused and specific. Uh, this section here, I might edit to be a little less inflammatory. We've all had some experience with peer review that isn't positive, whether that's getting reviews on our own work or being put on the spot to say something when we're not quite sure what we think yet. There is a difference between an, uh, saying, this piece of writing doesn't work and you're a bad person. And it's incumbent, of course, on the teacher to make sure that that distinction never gets you know, never gets forgotten in the classroom. Those mutual newspapers give the effects of the situation in a way which creates negativity in the reader's mind, but at the same time, the, re the document itself remains objective. When you're beginning to give peer review, what that probably means is you're beginning not only to learn the process of peer review, but you're beginning to learn the process of understanding whatever it is that you're reviewing. That's a perfect time to also begin peer review, not to wait until you're an expert, but to start at that point where everything is new, where you're beginning, because that's when you have the best questions. You have the, the most capacity to recognize features and to ask about them really freshly. Do you think that using the term social action to further explain the effect that that has on the audience would be a good include, inclusion in my essay? Coming into this class, I had the notion that if I dedicated more and more time by myself to a certain essay, that that was going to perfect it. But, you know, really just one word or one sentence from someone else can open up possibilities for me that I would never have realized no matter how long I spent. Because it's a professional requirement 
peer review can seem like a, a mechanical exercise, but my experience more and more has been that it's a tremendously creative um, endeavor and, and done well is as important to the intellectual process of the work. It's the one place where the author's work becomes truly collaborative. It's central and it permeates everything we do in academia. It seems to me that both those seem to be strong men in some sense, right? So I just wanted to have some sense of how you people think about how you respond to that. It helps us get better at all the other acts we perform in academia. It helps us get better at learning the methods, at creating ideas. Peer review keeps us on our toes. It uh, complicates and enriches our thinking. And you know, it's the best possible thing in the world to have a smart person really looking at your work with that depth and regard such that if you listen to what they say and work with it, you, you and your work become better. My writing isn't the best, and I know that. And when people point it out to me, it's always surprising. And today they actually showed me how I could actually fix my essay, which was co quite constructive. And hopefully when I go back and look over my essay, I'll be able to fix those errors, which will otherwise make my essay a lot better.